Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Whimsy, here enjoying my lunch at the park where I work. They're actually shooting uh, something over there in the background. Here I am shooting a broke aristocrat and then somebody's shooting a TV show over there or something. Welcome to LA where everyone seems to be shooting something. We've also got some dogs playing in the park over there. Uh, I love LA for that reason. There's always something fun going on. Uh, today I wanted to have a conversation about some of the direction we're going to be going in for Broke Aristocrats in 2018. I've talked about this in previous videos that we really want to focus on mastery personally, but in terms of this channel, I really want to focus on optimal living, optimal health, nutrition, and really get back to the basics of what this channel originally was started as, which was that it was originally started to help people stay healthy and learn about health and taking care of themselves who might be on a budget or trying to pay down debt. So that is what we do here on Broke Aristocrats. Today's subject is gonna be about what causes uh, health challenges in America, specifically obesity and digestive disorders. So that is the conversation I want to have today. Right now in the United States, a large percentage, depending upon what state you live in and what you do for a living, age, etc., demographic, but also economic, your economic situation, if you're an American, there's a good chance you're overweight or even obese. So I decided that in February, Broke Aristocrats would be committed to teaching people about healthy, responsible weight loss. And so that is what we're going to be doing for the month of February. I'm going to be focusing on how to lose weight in a healthful, responsible way. And you're going to be able to see some of how I monitor weight loss in my patients. I do have patients who are undergoing weight loss programs through uh, my offices here in West Hollywood. And we focus on quite a bit of uh, challenges that have to do with weight loss. But today I want to talk about the leading, cause of di the leading causes of digestive upset and obesity in the United States right now in terms of what I'm seeing in my office. Irritable bowel syndrome and digestive disorders are common uh, conditions that uh, I see all the time. A gas, bloating, upset stomach, constipation, diarrhea, and weight gain. Those are some of the digestive challenges that are really quite common in the United States, and they're certainly common in my patient population. I would say that a large percentage of the digestive disorders that are currently uh, plaguing most Americans have to do with the quality of food that we are consuming, how quickly we are consuming them, the emotional state we are in when we are eating, and how much of the food we are eating. So I want to talk a little bit about what happens when we eat. When we eat something, no matter what it is, if it's a salad, it could be the most nutritious food in the world. When we eat, our body has to digest that food and then it goes through a series of processes after we eat. It gets uh, uh, broken down, digested, and the macronutrients, fat, protein, and carbohydrates get stored. They get stored in the liver. The liver does, uh, uh, stores carbohydrates. If we consume too many of them, it converts to fat and that's when you get fatty liver disease. Uh, if you saw the film Super Size Me, he was consuming massive amounts of carbohydrates, massive amounts of calories, more than the liver would store normally. And those carbohydrates got con converted to fat uh, to make room for all of those calories. And that is basically how he got fatty liver disease in the making of that film. So the liver uh, is burdened with 
it's a storage organ storing uh, carbohydrates and if we are overfed it will begin to store fat but we also uh, store fuel in adipose tissue which is subcutaneous so we have our fat cells they're storing uh, they're storing fuel our muscles are storing carbs as glycogen uh, that's one way we store fat we also store in the mesentery in the ab ab abdominal area we see a lot of uh, storage of uh, fat so that's kind of how our body is wired our body is wired to we consume food and then it takes the micronutrients uh, uh, in the uh, small intestine mostly but also to the lar in the large intestine to some extent it takes up those uh, micronutrients those vitamins and uh, those minerals and uses them to do different activities in the body and the macronutrients as i said the carbs the proteins and the fat get taken up and stored to be burned as fuel. Now, part of that process is that we have an organ that's called the pancreas, and the pancreas produces something called enzymes, and the function of enzymes is to ha help chop up, break down uh, these, uh, the food so that it can be taken up and uh, utilized. Uh, it also produces insulin, and insulin is a protein that helps our cells take up glucose. So what happens when we overeat is that it becomes more calories than our body can process and store. And when that happens, a couple of other things can happen. We can experience gas, bloating, an upset stomach, nausea. Uh, we feel sick because we have taken on more of a burden than our body can naturally process. The pancreas has to produce the enzymes necessary to chop up and break down all of that food. And if you're consuming more food than your pancreas can process, that also can lead to gas, bloating, upset stomach. And so we tell people to take a digestive enzyme. We tell people to slow down and chew their food. But if you are consuming more calories than you are able to safely digest in, in any uh, at any given time no matter how good quality the food is uh, you're still going to see some digestive upset there are many reasons why a person might have digestive upset that have nothing to do with overeating if a person has an infection like h pylori it's a type of uh, infection that's associated with stomach ulcers doesn't matter whether they're eating a lot or not, they're still going to have pain because the source of the problem is an infection. But I'm talking about those, the side effects that come with overeating. So simply by reducing our caloric intake, we can see improvements in food. So the things I would leave you with if you are struggling with digestive upset and overweight is number one, Americans are eating too much. We have some false ideas about having to eat three square meals a day that have massive amounts of calories in them, when the truth of the matter is we should really just eat when we're hungry. <laughs> if you're hungry three times a day, then it can be three times a day. If you're really only hungry twice a day, then it's probably okay to just have two small meals a day, and if you wanna have a snack, that's fine. It's really more about rather than being on a regimen, listening to your body and ask yourself, am I really hungry right now? Instead of eating because you're supposed to be eating and we're all sitting down to dinner, it would probably be wiser for people to just think, am I really hungry? But I think we have so much fear and emotionalism attached to food in this country that a lot of the time we just start eating to eat. So the first thing that I would advise people is number one, to begin cutting calories and not in any kind of way that's frightening or scary or spooky or even painful <laughs> but simply to ask yourself are you hungry and if you're not you don't have to eat uh, if you are hungry then ask yourself how much how hungry are you and then when you're no longer hungry just start eat stop eating to be in touch with your body and to have it be okay to not eat when you're not hungry or to eat less in and of itself would do probably wonderful, wonderful things for your digestion. 
And the second thing we encourage people to do is to slow down and chew the food uh, thoroughly. That can have a dramatic impact on digestion. When we are taking the time to chew our food, we are less reliant on those uh, enzymes, uh, d having to take digestive enzymes because we've slowed down and we'd al we've allowed the food to be chewed by, chewed into smaller pieces and mixed with our saliva so that the enzymes we are uh, producing are able to adequately uh, cover the food and begin to break the food down. So eat less, chew your food so that the enzymes can be distributed over the food, and uh, to slow down. Slow down, chew your food, and eat less. Those are the three tips that I would give uh, for healthy digestion and weight loss. Uh, even uh, if you don't have the patience to count calories, um, it's okay to be eating a lot less. Uh, you're going to be just fine. Now remember, though, that if you are eating less calories, you really want the food you eat to be nutritionally dense, and that means avoiding uh, junk food. So the fr three... Uh, tips I will leave you with in terms of improving your weight and your digestion are number one, eat less calories. Just reduce the food you're uh, consuming. Number one, slow down and chew the food properly. And number three, make sure the food that you are eating is good quality and nutrient dense. And if you do those three things, you may find uh, that your digestion has improved dramatically. And last, I would leave you with, and this is something I'll cover in the future, is to eat less food at night uh, prior to bed. Even uh, some people who do intermittent fasting where they stop eating after a particular hour, four o'clock, six o'clock, we find that a lot of digestive problems are eliminated simply by either having dinner be the lightest meal of the day or uh, skipping uh, late night eating. All right, I want to thank everybody for watching this edition of Broke Aristocrats. We're going to be having fun in the future. We're going to uh, go back to our roots, focusing on optimal nutrition and health. And we're going to do it in a way so that you stay on your budget and you uh, hopefully will get healthy in the process. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure and share, like, subscribe. I need the support and tell me what you are doing to take care of yourselves without breaking the bank. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye.